doctors and nurses are feeling strain on the health care system and are more burnt out now than ever before. It definitely has been challenging for both myself and uh, my colleagues. For nurses like Cassidy Neal, it's been a true ordeal trying to manage the demand for health care workers when there is not enough staff to accommodate for patients. We have unfortunately seen a lot of people who've left. Uh, to go completely out of the healthcare industry to other uh, jobs or just take uh, stress leaves, you know, time off, that sort of thing, or just go work somewhere else completely. So, I mean, it's been very devastating because we have lost a, a fair number of employees that way when we're already short staffed. Student nurses are being utilized in hospitals and immunization clinics to help out with staffing shortages and to get up to speed with what the healthcare industry is now. I graduate in June of 2023, so I'm coming up on my last year now. I am actually pretty excited to enter the field of nursing. I'm hoping that that it does evolve a little bit in the next year, year and a half um, from where we currently are. Nursing students are thankful that they have the opportunity to complete their clinical practicums within hospitals to get real life experience, but the overwhelming amount of patients coming into hospitals due to COVID-19 is stressful. Especially within the nursing program, I'm finding there is a lot of burnout in students already, which is really unfortunate because we are the new workforce that's entering the nursing profession and already before we've put two toes in, a lot of people are feeling like they can't do it and that they're burnt out. Due to the shortage in hospital staff, regular nurses are being forced to work in the intensive care units, even if they've never worked there before. So one of my friends who's an RN has been dealing with patient loads between eight to 10 patients, as high as 12 patients, which is extremely high and should not happen, period, because that's when things start to go wrong. When testing positive for COVID-19, make sure to follow Alberta health guidelines by isolating for five days or until symptoms are gone. For St. News File, I'm Alana Bender.